But when your preferences exclude an entire group of marginalized people, that's problematic. You work out because you want your body to look a certain way. You don't care about health. You are fat folks. And will you motherfuckers learn that your body dysmorphia is not an excuse to be fat phobic? This nigga preach is married. Buy to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing things to leave in 2021 because the new is fast approaching in about two weeks, and I'm not going to carry these things. I hope you're not going to either. Okay, the last thing to do is get this video. Number one, not everything is fat phobic. In my opinion, the word just doesn't have any meaning anymore because it's just so outdated and overused. Like, so many people, especially confused people on TikTok, just be twisting and turning the meaning of the word so much that, in my opinion, it has no meaning. Fat phobia. Like the literal definition is to discriminate against someone because of their size. But nowadays, people are saying it's fatphobic to eat a healthy diet, a diet that's non restricted, by the way, to go to the gym, to have healthy lifestyle decisions, and just like to have a small plane seat in economy class. Economy class. My dear, let me just tell you something. Economy is cheap, so the seats are going to be big, are going to be like smaller. Deal with it. Literally that. So, People from like the body positive community, which is like plus size people in general, have like a new definition of what fat phobia actually is. Like they say it's fat phobic to have an eating disorder. They say people with eating disorder have internalized fat phobia. And if they can only get over like hurdle over their fat phobia, they can get better in their eating disorder, which makes no zero sense to me. Number two, they say if you're a smaller person going to maybe like thrift stores or just general shops and buying clothes that are bigger than your actual clothes size, guess what? you're being fat phobic why because fat this is their logic shopping is really so hard for us fat people so when you skinny bees go out of your way to take our clothes just being inconsiderate they get so defensive on this topic and it's like i'm a small person and i buy some clothes that are bigger than my size i don't do it to get on anyone's nerves or get anyone heated i do it because maybe today i want a bit of an oversized hoodie i want bigger sweatpants why is your problem now my problem making it make sense I, it doesn't make any sense to me like and i don't mean to sound rude or anyone to like anyone's like personal opinions because everyone has their own opinion but these are just going off basic facts it does not make any sense they also say fat people are marginalized they're oppressed fat people are not oppressed fat people are ridiculed heavily for being fat 100 percent yeah should they be no but they are we can't change that but you can't go out of your way and say fat people are oppressed. People say fat people are oppressed. It's, fat phobia is like a racist. It's like, it's like ableism. No, it's not. Where are you getting your logic from? Where? Where? It just doesn't make any sense because race in disability is something that you're born with, something that you can't control. Weight is subject to control. So, yeah. Number two, no one is responsible for your personal triggers. Oh my goodness, if you go on the app TikTok, you will see the most ridiculous triggers. I can't even like deep in. Trigger warning. Hair brushing. Trigger warning. Music. Trigger warning. Feet. Well, you know what? I feel like the feet one is valid because there are actually some creeps on TikTok who are just on the internet in general. But these trigger warnings are ridiculous. And if you're looking for even more ridiculous trigger warnings on TikTok, just go in on these people's, like, into random people's comments. They're like, you didn't put a trigger warning for doing squats. Shame on, shame on you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh. People yelling, I, they need requesting trigger warning in the comments are actually ridiculous. They'll be like, and they'll even use excuses to back up their invalid posts. Like, oh my gosh. Imagine the young girls are going to scroll on this video and feel so insecure because you couldn't put a trigger warning over you exercising and dieting. Shame on you. And I'm like, are you, are you, it's fine, whatever, whatever. My point is to use young girls to like, as an excuse. I have I think trigger warnings are just very, very ridiculous and just not needed. In my opinion, because some things actually do trigger certain people, and if it's triggering to you, babes, please scroll. We have finger fingers. Scroll. God gave us hands for a reason. So put them to the reasonable use. If you can't scroll and you feel you feel entitled to say, no, 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 your post is triggering, but triggering the wrong, wrong. Expect the smoke that's gonna come with it. I 
but it's not my business if I post a video on TikTok. Oh yeah, shout my TikTok, is my TikTok over. Right? And people just go on and on and on saying trigger warning, put a trigger warning. You're not making sense. I'm sorry. No. Number three. Not everyone needs to struggle in life to succeed. I didn't think that was like, I thought that was a common thing, but it's obviously not common knowledge. Can we actually just throw that whole mentality in the bin, because it's actual nonsense. People will be out here in broad daylight being like, oh yeah, if you struggle in life, you're going to be a better person. That's a big fat lie. Half of the people who struggle in life don't become better people, because in order, to, in order to become a better person from struggling, in my opinion, you've actually got to learn from that experience and take away something productive, valuable. A skill or something that you can maybe later maybe empathy to be able to apply in the future to other people who are struggling currently in this day and age but most people that struggle they're not bad people let me know if you lie to you and i don't just mean like struggling financially i mean like struggling with mental health problems maybe struggling with family members family issues people shouldn't feel like they need to have those things do you know what i'm trying to say in my opinion those things shouldn't even really exist but obviously it's not very possible mental health issues you can't control if you have mental health issues. With family problems, you can't even, it's, it's out of your control, to be honest. But you need to stop making it in like a necessity because everyone in this day and age just wants to struggle so bad and it's so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. Like I see bare, like mini fridge hauls, um, maybe shopping hauls, people share like a clean room tour. And if you see bare people in the comments talking about, oh my goodness, she's, I bet she doesn't have depression or anxiety. Like, how does it feel to live a normal life? You're so basic. How is it basic not to be depressed? Do you hear yourself? It's like absentee parents, because you know some people, their dads were asked to go get milk and they never came back. I mean, not me, but you lost, stay safe. Um, anyways, so many people feel the need to comment on other people's videos. Like, I will see their videos, like maybe daughters making videos with their dads, just some wholesome content, some good content. And these people on TikTok will be like, oh my goodness. So people actually have dads. Wow. Someone, this girl even made a wholesome video with her dad. Her dad's a bit older, a bit on the older side. He looks like 65, 70. And they were like, oh my goodness, it's gonna be so sad when he dies. Why are you praying on people's downfall? The amount of bitter, bitter people in this generation is so ridiculous. Number four is stop shaming people for their own opinions. Unless somebody's opinion is, you know, detrimental to your health or your human rights as a person, no one cares if you disagree with their opinion. We all literally have different opinions for a reason. If we all had the same opinions in this world, nothing, no one would have different cultures or different languages. The world would just be dry. Because some people feel the need, they feel entitled. That, oh yeah, this person doesn't agree with me. They're going to go send death threats and put hate comments under their Instagram posts or their TikToks. But how sad do you have to be as a person? And it would be like 15 year olds, 17 year olds, 21 year olds, I said 21. A 21, I feel like it's supposed to be grown, just have sense. A lot of people do not have sense. Scrapped. Scrapped. And the same people will be saying death threats, the same people will be crying on TikTok to drive his license. Come my traps. And they're so depressed. Well, no wonder you're depressed, you're a whole mess. But there was this one video like earlier in the year, like February, when this girl was like, she wouldn't be comfortable with her younger son, you know, painting his nails. That's just something she would really vibe with. And I was like, that's fine, that's her opinion. I personally wouldn't be very comfortable with that either. And you see bare comments of people like, you shouldn't have children, not everyone deserves children. I hope she never is able to have a child. I hope she, she dies. And I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. They even went to her other videos and her Instagram posts to just leave hate comments. And I was like, what's wrong with you? You didn't get hate comments for no reason. And these people are sad. Like such bitter people, why? There's also, also this other video where someone made a video right? and somebody commented they were like oh let's normalize being rude to people and insulting people for no reason and this girl commented she was like that's not very nice normal let's normalize you just being a bitter person and it's just not a very nice thing to do people like hundreds of people were dragging her saying i bet you don't have a dad you're so sad blah 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 blah, blah. and i was like ah uh -uh. but see, the thing is I agree with that opinion. It's so bitter for you to do that. Like, why must you go out of your way as a person to do that? Do you know how sad you have to be? Number five. Five is red pill men who have podcasts on YouTube need to go. Like yesterday, they need to go. I'll give an example. 
Fresh and Fit podcast. They're very like, uh, they're very popular for having very controversial opinions on women and dating. I know they say they give financial and gym advice, but no one watches those videos. Let's be, let's keep it real. So, the the hosts are basically two men. They're attached to their own opinions, 110%. But uh, one of their opinions is that you shouldn't be dating just one woman. If you date just one woman, you are simp. You don't need to do that. You can have as many women as you want. If you date one, you're wrong for that. One of their hosts is dating. His name's Fit. He's basically, well, his name's Walter in real life. He's dating a sugar baby who he met in a sugar baby site seeking. That's a bit shameful if you ask me. But I mean, I'm not trying to shame anyone here. It's shameful behavior though. I'll give an example of something that happened on the show. Basically, this mum, this mum with like two kids came on the show and she was like, you know, she takes care of her kids all day. She takes care of her husband all night. Sometimes she just wants like maybe one night, once a month, like a night a month, just to go out with her friends to the club, go dancing. I personally wouldn't go to the club, but that's just me. She was like, she wants to go out with her friends dancing. And I'm like, that's okay. I mean, it's just one, one night a month. It's not gonna kill anyone. And they were like, are you going without your husband? And she was like, well, yes, of course she did that. That's, that's the whole point, to get away from her husband and her kids. She loved them, but she wants to get away from them for a bit. And they were like, you can't go without your husband. What are you trying to do without your husband? She was like, just go out with her friends, just have a good time. They said, no, you can't be doing that. And it's like, what are you getting at? Like, they were literally like, you shouldn't be going out anywhere with your husband. They said her husband needs to keep her on a tight leash. Husbands should be keeping their women on a tight leash and just monitoring their behavior 24 7 because women are fragile creatures They're not very competent. They can do dumb stuff and they need to monitor them See, this is my opinion that no one asked for. No one should get pressed But sorry, if you need to keep your significant other on a tight leash or just go through their, their texts Just be monitoring them You should not, you probably should not be married to them or just be with them because it's like you married someone to have a companion, a partner, not a child. And that's what these men are promoting. A lot of these men are promoting. They're looking for mini versions of their mother, not wives. They say you need to cook, you need to clean, attend to all my needs because I don't have to work all day. I work. Even if I should work too, I should be I should kill myself, I should break my back. And then at the end of the day, they'll still go out and see another woman. What's the point? But um, you guys, we've gone to the end of this video. I should have enjoyed filming it. I might do a part two. If we can get this to 50 likes, I'll do a part two. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, if you like my personality, you know, consider subscribing. Comment down below things you want to leave in 2021 because I'm sure you guys have some opinions of your own that we'd lo I'd love to discuss with you in the comments. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.